Greetings fellow riders. I am a huge cruiser bike fan. Talk down low, upright handlebars and of course mile munching capabilities which is necessary if you want to quench your post lockdown thirst. However, cruiser bikes can be an expensive matter which got me thinking what if you want to quench your wanderlust without your bank account going bust. This is the BS6 Bajaj Avenger 160 Street. Let's see if it can quench your thirst for wanderlust. The Bajaj Avenger has been on the streets since 2005 and 15 years and 3 generations later, the Bajaj Avenger is still a hot selling bike. It was also the first ever cruiser bike that was developed and produced by an Indian company. Now this BS6 compliant third generation Avenger still retains most of the design cues of the original Avenger like the low slung seat, the raised handlebars and the front end that is raked. It definitely screams cruiser bike. However, this street variant has been blacked out instead of chromed out to just give it a more urban appeal. When it comes to the powertrain, the update is significant. The Avenger Street now gets a newly developed motor that is basically a hybrid between the Avenger 180's motor and the Pulsar NS 160's. But what's impressive is that Bajaj have managed to maintain the power figures even while downsizing. 15 PS and 13.5 Nm of torque. The gearbox has remained the same 5 speed which feels smooth and also complements the light clutch. The underpinnings of the Avenger have not changed at all. The diamond frame, telescopic forks and 280mm front disc brakes are identical to the Avenger 180. However, the Street 160 now gets a single channel ABS for the front discs. When it comes to riding, the riding position of the Avenger is classic cruiser. You get forward set foot pegs and high handlebars, which means you feel like you're riding a cruiser. But what doesn't feel very cruiser-like is the Avenger's agility. Most cruisers are super hard to maneuver through traffic due to their massive weight. But since the Avenger sports a super light chassis and a single cylinder engine, that means you can take this bike to and fro from work and enjoy small highway blasts. But what if you want more cruiser in your Avenger? Because as the name suggests, the Avenger Street 160 is more optimized for the street. Well, Bajaj have again sorted you out with the Avenger 220 Cruise. The looks have been altered as well. You get a much more traditional cruiser-like body style and I mean overall they have changed a lot of parts on the bike. You get these paintbrush kind of marks but they are stickers since it's a budget bike. But nonetheless it looks really nice. It looks much more of a traditional cruiser bike rather than a modern one like the Street 160. They have changed the gauge cluster as well. You get a negative display which has loads of info and a nice design on it. The headline has also been changed and it has new DRLs inside it. And instead of the urban, modern looking kind of wheels which the Avenger 160 has, it gets more traditional spoke wheels to give it that classic, classic cruiser-like feel. The cruise is basically like any other Avenger, except it has been tweaked in many small places here and there for better highway munching capabilities. For example, the 220 cruise gets a big windshield up front which reduces wind buffeting during long journeys as well as the pillion seat gets a backrest which also helps them be more comfortable during these journeys. The rider seat has also been changed and is overall much more comfortable than the Street 160. You get a bigger engine which is a 220cc single cylinder which produces 19 bhp and 17 Nm of torque. But more than the horsepower, the torque matters in a bike like this. Once you are around 2500 RPMs, you start riding the 220's vast torque wave. Riding the 220 is not that different from the Street 160. But since the 220 has different handlebars, the riding posture is a little bit different and I have to say it is much more comfortable. really think about it, the Avengers are really value for money bikes, with the Avenger Street 160 starting under 1 lakh rupees and both of them giving unparalleled comfort and some of the best riding dynamics and cruising abilities in the business. I mean, 
you really have to consider these bikes when you are in the market to buy a nice commuter bike. The Street 160 is one of the best urban motorcycles that you can get today. With riding dynamics like a cruiser bike and power enough to do quick overtakes and have good fuel efficiency, the Street 160 is a really good city bike. Whereas the 220 Cruise is one of the best cruiser bikes you can get in a budget. Even if it doesn't have a parallel to an engine, a single cylinder 220cc engine is enough to give you good highway maintaining speeds. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our video, share the video and before you sign off, do check out Garve Bajaj. They are one of the only Bajaj facilities in Pune which have a 3S facility in almost all of their showrooms. That means you get sales, service and spares at the same dealership. So if you're in the market to get a new Bajaj motorcycle, why not check out Garve Bajaj? They are spread all across Pune and they are one of the best customer services that you'll ever find.